Okay, everything looks good again. Let's play the video game, everybody. You know what the goal is. We need to go beat Whitney. And as you just suggested there, nicknaming the Heracross Dana, I like that idea. Because Dana was, in fact, a wrestler, yeah. But hang on, I should probably just show this off again right quick. I trained up the Pokemon in order to fight Whitney, right? Got you to 42, 48, 42. Unfortunately, Alakazam is locked behind level 55, which is a little bit annoying. And I caught a brand new Heracross, I should say. Which pretty much has overall good IVs, I'll say. Only has Submission, so I lost the one with Fury Cutter. And I got it to level 38. And, oh yeah, I should show this again. Hang on. The Shiny Jigglypuff. I found this while I was training last night. It's not very good, like, at all, but it's a shiny puff. It has Bubble Beam for some reason. I caught it in the wild, like, outside the daycare. It's just a green-eyed puff. But isn't green-eyed puff what, uh, normal puff already is anyway? There we go. Hang on. Let's nickname the Heracross right quick. We're gonna see if I can beat Whitney. It's blue normally. I thought it was, like, more, like turquoise, but whatever. The Heracross will be here for a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and change its name. Okay. It's a girl, so we'll call it Dana, after Dana Zane from Valhalla. Because why the heck not? Continue the trend of naming everything after anime and video game characters. Well done. Okay, let's get in there. It used to have green eyes in Gen 1. Is it like Smeargle? Where, um, they changed, like, the normal color and shiny color after Gen 2. I'm not quite sure. Pokemon's weird for stuff like that. Audio looks good. Yeah, okay. We're gonna see if we can do this. Now, it looks to me like the, um, this line right here kind of gives the, the Clefairy face a unibrow. Or is it, like, looking angry or something? I can't quite tell. I'd have to see it zoomed out. So we're gonna lead with Doug Trio. I should make a save here, because one bad, one or two bad RNG rolls could pretty much still cost me the game. But I leveled up an absurd amount because I basically have no choice. There's no one left to fight except Whitney, and we can't move on until she's done. Okay. You ready? Everybody get comfy. Grab your pet, grab your plushie. It's Kaizo Saturday. We're gonna have fun. It's currently really raining outside for me. It's really hot in here, but it would probably the air would probably be worse if I opened up the window. Okay, this should be enough. I hope. I hope. <sighs> Not enough. Great. All right. You're gonna go ahead and use a hyper potion now. No, you're not. Oh, I thought it was safe to try one turn. Earthquake. How's progress? I'm still stuck on Whitney. Because Whitney is a bully. This is what I meant by one bad RNG roll costing me. Alright, I'm just gonna send out Puff. Puff is now just a shield. You can't even tell it's shiny from the back sprite. <laughs> is that even the same shade of pink? I don't think. You served your purpose well, Puff. Now you're gone. Alright. Well, Doug Trio can only really take out the Queen anyway. So it doesn't matter that I took damage. Oh, there's the Nine. Oh no, that wasn't the Odd Egg, Dylan. I found a shiny Jigglypuff while I was grinding last night. Alright, 43. Two extra HP. Okay, Clefable. This is what Heracross was trained for. Or Dana. Got bits of green on it. Look at that demon. Alright, let's get her. Roll high, please. I got a shiny Tyrogue out of the Odd Egg, but I'm not sure I want to train it, because I already have, um, nice. Training Dana was worth it. I already have the Heracross now. About to use Giraffe. Alright, we're gonna go right to Feraligator and use Crunch. 
Hopefully I can make some real progress. I pretty much had no choice but to beat up wild Pokemon for a good while to get my... <laughs> to have any kind of team. Because I was forced to just kind of power level uh, for Alligator for the last while. Heracross, er, Heracross is also just kind of better, yeah. Megahorn coverage will help later. Hopefully. It seems like Heracross has better special defense than defense, so... Ooh, nice. It should be able to maybe take a Psychic and just revenge with Megahorn if it's not fast enough. Okay. Chansey. Alright. So, the thing about Chansey... Mm, oh, hello, loud car speeding by. I could just send out Dana. I can't get attracted with that. Yeah, that's probably the best bet. Let it go. The green snot egg. I really had to train last night, because last time I had to end on losing to Whitney because my team was just not strong enough. I needed good RNG crits to even get far into the fight. And this one shot? Okay, good. Oh, that was a crit. Nice. Again, had to do so much training that I ran into a shiny. Grand Bull. Okay. Good. Let's get it. It's funny because I actually had other team members up to this point, but a lot of them just couldn't really do anything. Because they weren't- they didn't have much of an opportunity to fight stuff, so they just had to be grinded. Okay, nice. Now we're finally at the last one. Mill tank. Bring it on. Come on, Dana. That, look at that zombie silver cow. Didn't realize that's what the Gen 2 shiny sprite looked like. Can't use a tract on me. Darn it. Even though, if you think about it, technically it should work on Dana. There we go. I'm paralyzed, but I'm taking you out. It's got milk drink. Darn it. That's got 15 PP. Okay. If I roll another crit, I can take out the cow. So close. But not, not close enough. Alright. Got it again. I actually rolled the crit. Dana wins! Dana has earned her spot on this team after that. Nice. Getting a higher level Heracross was the main thing I did. Everyone else just kind of got, like, four or five levels. I didn't even get a chance to use Sakura this time. Wah, 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 snivel hick, you meanie. Deal with it. Oh no, you made Whitney cry. It's okay, she'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. Sniff. What? You want a badge? Oh, right, I forgot. Here's the plain badge. Nice. Dana wins. Let your Pokémon use strength outside of battle. Boost your Pokémon speed. Oh, you can have this, too. Alright. Now, there is that weird Gen 2 mechanic where, um, if you get a badge, like, moves of the same type get stronger, right? Like, only Gen 2 did that, I think. So, like, um, it's like a hidden mechanic that's not never, like, actually explained. I don't know how significant, like, that increase is, or if it's disabled in Crystal Kaizo, but all normal moves should technically be a little stronger now. Alright. Now that I've done that, before I forget, let me pick this up. La la la, have plenty of water. When I told my sis about the Jiggly Tree, she told me it's dangerous. If I beat Whitney, I wonder if she'll lend me her water bottle. Oh, you're better than Whitney? You'll be okay. Here's the squirt bottle. Okay. Now, we just have to get all the way back to the Sudowoodo Tree. Sudowoodo is not very good, so we're just gonna defeat it. Not bother catching it. I'm not going for Pokedex anyway. Let me go heal. It's an additional 10% boost, I think. Okay. Let's take him out. And badge boost should still be applied. 
That's the reason the Elite Four went over the max levels, and Blue Kaizo is to account for badge boost. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure that EVs are also still disabled, so Pokemon will just never earn those. It's such a mean thing, but whatever. See, I could put up with this a little bit more if I could also just use, like, strats like Poison, but everybody and their and their mom can just, like, heal that crap so easily in all the important fights, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so we get what we need. We're going on a little adventure. The shiny Jigglypuff can just be a little mascot until we get rid of it. I don't even need to evolve it. It's not going to do anything. I think it had, like, 0 to 4 for an attack stat. Oh yeah, it also had 0 or 1 for, um, what was it, HP, which is supposed to be the selling point of Puff and Tough. Let's just take this out for some quick kills. And I don't have Alakazam, if you missed that. Um, from what I could gather, Pokemon like Alakazam and Gengar don't happen until level 55. Which is a little bit unfortunate. But considering I had to grind past level 40 just to beat Whitney, uh, that probably shouldn't be too far away. I should just put Heracross up front. There's gonna- actually, there's gonna be poison types in the National Park itself. Let's see. Yeah, one more. We can walk through National Park and enjoy the music. Alright. Better than last Kaizo levels, yeah, that's for sure. Take it out. I get to work with held items, but I only have the soft sand right now. I put that on Doug Trio. Doug Trio has kind of served its purpose, and I don't see myself training up the swine up anymore. Like, I had high hopes for that, but I'm not sure I want to have it in the long run. In fact, didn't last time we talked about potentially getting, like, uh a Graveler or a Golem. Okay, this far-fetched. Take it out. There we go. Well, it's Gen 2 without a physical special split, so I can't fully take advantage of all of everything that Mammoth Swine stats even can do. Okay. The encounter rate is pretty damn high here. Move pools in this game are pretty rough, yeah. Okay. Alright. Can't fight you. You know, let's just use a repel. Let's take a leisurely walk through the park after we just won. Let's enjoy ourselves, why don't we? Yeah. Comfy National Park music. It's not a bug catching contest, eh? Thanks for the gift subs there, Pokemania. Appreciate it. Looks like I didn't get that item over there. Just go take care of that. After we just hop on out. Did I fight every trainer in here? I'm pretty sure it forces you to fight them all along the way. Okay, Repel's effect wore off. Well, I'm not done listening to the music, so I'm gonna use another one. Let's just enjoy the calm before the storm. Makes it look like you can go in there, but you can't. Is it Saturday in game? No, it's Sunday. Do, do, do. Hang on. Grass down here is gonna have the same encounters, because it's the same location. A free paralyzed heal, I guess. National Park would be a whole lot more wholesome if Teddy Ursus were running around. Look, check out my bag. I printed out my favorites from my Pokedex and stuck them. I'm sure you did. Okay. And that's just blocking off the whole thing. National Park is just a, such a nice location. Anyways, well, let's never visit it again. Alright, this... Gonna take the long way around. I totally forgot about this crap. Luckily, I remember the way. Alright, good. Okay. Do that there. This doesn't make any sense because the building's right there and I went around it. 
Oh. Uh-oh. I don't have cut on me. And that guy's not gonna move. <sighs> really? Really now? Well, I'm not gonna put it on one of my other mons. Alright then. Fun. Alright, let's go get cut out of the daycare. Or not the daycare. The PC. And then go all the way back around the park. I don't have Rock Smash on me yet. Alright, Puff, you can go. You were there just to be shown off. Yeah, let's get you out. Oh, boy. Had to use six HMs to use to get through Dragon's Den. Oh my god, that sounds terrible. Alright, let's go. Repel's effect wore off. Let's use another. The first time I visited that tree, I was able to probably move the trainer out of the way, so I didn't think about needing cut. That's probably why they did it, too. Let's go for a happy little ride and just get out of here. Alright. I don't need to repel again. We'll just get through this. We'll just get through this the old-fashioned way now, huh? Level 31. Can you even do much to me? Can I do much to you? Let's find out. Take it down to half with that. It's gone. 3518, I guess. Come on, it's right there. It's right there! Oh well. Free experience is free experience. Let me just down some water while I mash through submission. There we go. And that should be the last encounter here, right? Right? We don't need to use another repel. Yeah, that's so little. Ah! Seriously now. <laughs> the encounter rate is so crappy. Well, a 500's a big chunk, so I'll take it. left. Just double kick. You can't hurt me. Bug too strong. Okay. A little bit extra. We're on our way to level... What the hell do you want, Joey? <laughs> Go away! I let me out of the grass! Hmm... Out of park already. He had to come bug me again. Like, yeah, look, I'm I'm going around the exit. <laughs> so where's the park? You ever think about that? Joey has to keep calling me always, 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 always. The park is just a made-up illusion. It's all in your head, Luigi. Just do that. I don't know why I didn't just press A. I'm too used to Gen 1. You squirt bottle. The weird tree doesn't like it. The weird tree attacked. Alright, here we go. The tree is wobbling. Level 36. Well, if I kill this thing, it'll give me a good chunk. Shot it? Yeah, I can one shot it. 694. Alright. And with that, now I can go to Violet easily. Did you clear that wretched tree? I'm impressed. I want you to have this. And 
happens to be Rock Smash, you can shatter rocks with a single well aimed smash. Blah, 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 blah. I wonder if I should just put Rock Smash on Heracross or something, because it's not going to get moves for a long while. Let's go ahead and just heal while we're here. If I don't, um... The TMs are limited, right? What happens if I use up Rock Smash accidentally? Is there, like... Goldenrod only sold the elemental punches. I didn't see Rock Smash there to rebuy. Because normally you can rebuy it in Vanilla Gen 2. I'm going to read your thoughts. You can buy it now and use it freely. Okay. Good. Psychic Mark would like to battle. He's got an Abra. He's probably going to do something silly. Okay. I'll just let for Alligator do it. Dana's submission attack was pretty instrumental in getting through... <laughs> getting through that gym battle. And you got higher specials, so Slash might do better. Since Crunch is special for some reason. You're only Abra. Come on, you got no defense. And there goes my special defense. Critical hit. Excellent. You're gonna have the whole trio. Kadabra. Alright, send it out. Hey, that's my strategy. I have all the elemental punches. Oh, cool, I'm dead. That's cool! Okay. This is pretty bad, not gonna lie. Well, I need to roll a good magnitude to get rid of you. Do it. Eight, okay. Stab and I got soft sand, you ain't living this. Next one, is he really gonna have an Alakazam right now? No? Okay, good. I was a bit worried for a second. Um... I can neutral with submission, so I'll just send you out. I'm used to seeing Whitney's blue one that the magenta one now looks shiny to me. Normal psychic, come on. Ah, not enough. What are you doing? What are you doing? Attack went way up. Come on, you can do this. Just gotta hit it. Yeah, there you go. You're getting there, Dana. You're getting there. I misread you. Alright, now to go back and heal, because I lost for alligator. No problem, though. No problem. Maybe. Please. I hope. Would be bad. Heal it up. If I can get more Rock Smash later, it won't be too bad. I know I'm gonna have Heracross with me at all times. I wonder if having, like, an extra fighting move for extra more PP helps. I don't know. Submission has 25, though. It's not a big deal. You can always just put it on the Sand Shrew. Sand Shrew can probably cover Rock Smash, Cut, and Strength, honestly. Now what do we got? This is a fun-looking route. <laughs> the, the, the twins are separated? And... <laughs> so they're gonna guarantee you battle them no matter where you go. Okay. Do they still count as one person? Like, the other person, if I talk to them after this, will probably not battle me. Smeargle! Alright. Break. Sorry, puppy. You're not my friend today. Level 40. Attack is at 110. You'll love to see it. Another puppy. Not today. 
Smeargles will be doing no shenanigans against me right now. They are weak. They have no stats, or did they get buffed? I don't remember. Not that it matters, they're down. A little too strong. Alright, yeah, they both count as the same one. Pokemon can't do a thing if they're asleep. I'll show you how scary that is. Slight buffs to Smeargle. I can't Dark Void in this game, though, so... Don't matter too much. Well, I guess I could probably s'more... Er, uh, spore. Not s'more. Okay. Just send in for Alligator. Dana's doing a good job now that she has the levels to actually keep up with the current Pokemon. Isn't it kind of funny how I, I grinded my Pokemon so much, but Her Heracross is currently only one level ahead of the Mr. Mime. It's doing substitute shenanigans. Is it just trying to annoy me? Well, this is the guy who says he puts your Pokemon to sleep, so... Okay. And there it is. Oh, cool, a Max Potion. That's, that's really cool. Alright, I hope you're all comfortable. We're gonna be here for a few days. Uh, just taking a sleep. Getting real comfy. Everything's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Oh, he's got Dream Eater, too! Can Mr. Mime even get that? I think it's a TM in Gen 1, so technically it might be. Okay, good, I woke up. Hey, the AI didn't cheat. Kill. Kill! There we go. A little bit gained. I lost, that's pretty sad. Putting Pokemon to sleep or paralyzing them are good battle techniques. Okay, I don't want to go down that way. I made it. I made it to Ecritique. Alright, Bill. I suppose I'll get an Eevee from him later. Assuming he still gives an Eevee. I might, I might reset for that between streams to get a good one. Time Capsule was developed with that, blah blah blah. Time Capsule doesn't pro even work, Bill. No, oh, I have no need for that. Don't you worry, I'm done with the adjustments. Tomorrow the Time Capsule will be running at all Pokemon Centers. Bye bye Alright. Help me up. Bill's overworld sprite looks nothing like Bill. It's kind of random. Okay. Now that we've done this, let's explore and find out what we can do to the sides of Ecritique. What's gonna wall me off? Okay, it looks like I'm not going here without Surf. They've made that very clear. Get on this. Now, Burn Tower is open up. That's probably gonna be a hellish maze in there, and then I have to fight the rival. What do we have here? Also can't go anywhere without Surf. So they're making sure I can't- I have to beat Morty before I move on. Great. Uh, what level would the Kimono Sisters be? Surprise, there's no maze just to get to each one. You have lovely Pokemon May see them. What if they have six copies of each evolution? Oh, thank goodness, I was worried I may have predicted it. 38, alright, they're just higher level, I should be okay. Reflect, okay, that's annoying. Still, I do good damage. Looks like they're just set here to annoy me, and that's it. Come on. Ah, oh, so close. Just hit it. Full restore? Oh, get out of here.
How about a crit? I keep getting fully paralyzed. I'm gonna have to switch now. Reflect faded. A little too late. A little too late for that. She's probably gonna form a storm again. A max potion. Well, close enough, clearly. You are getting on my nerves so much, Mr. Jolteon. There we go. That's all you had to do. Good chunk of experience, though. Okay, you are very much strong. I can backtrack quite a bit to get a starter, but I'm gonna have to do that to hunt for one that has good IV, so I don't know if I want to do that while streaming. I'm definitely gonna have to go back looking for that, though, that's for sure. I, I think I want to get a good Charizard. A good Charizard might be nice. I've said before, but there's only a few rock moves to worry about in the game. So Charizard should be okay having that downside. <clears throat> well, all right, time for the next one. I always dance with my Pokemon. Of course, I also train them. Of course. Why wouldn't you? Okay, it's Umbreon. You should die to a submission. Very easily. Break it. Break the evil. <sighs> Couldn't one-shot it. There's Confuse Ray. Alright, so welcome to Confusion while they loop their full restores. Yeah, that's cool. Try it again. Can I roll high? Did I roll low before? Nope. Not close enough. There goes a max potion. Wow, they are doing everything in their power to make sure this is a miserable time. Maybe I should just go to the burn tower and get a few more levels so I can get these guys done with quickly. The only thing I'll get from this is just a surf, which I can put on uh, for alligator to replace water gun. I don't really need for alligator's water coverage yet, though. Any day now. You have psychic, of course you do. Confuse no more. There we go. All of them are just inflicting status on me and spamming potions. That's their game plan. Oh, so close. I almost had you. No, you didn't. You barely took anything from me. All right. I probably should spend my money before I lose it to a random loss. I don't have any- I don't need to buy any more uh, elemental punches, that's for sure. Spend it all. Spend it all! Before we lose it all. Super Appel. I'll take 20. Excellent. Great balls. I'm gonna need some of those soon, so let me buy some of these. Good enough for now. Alright. Can't enter the gym until we're done with the burn tower, so let's go get that done. It's light in here. My name's Yusin. I'm on the trail of a Pokemon named Suicune. And you are... Asprey, glad to meet you. I heard rumors that Suicune is in this burned tower, so I came to look. But where exactly could it be? Y'all ever find it weird how, um... Characters like Bill and even the Kanto gym leaders got unique sprites? Why is there Parasect here? Yeah, characters like Bill and even the Kanto gym leaders got unique sprites, but Yusin just has the generic, like, uh, collector sprite. Or the Pokemaniac sprite. I always found that weird. Um, 
um, I could put Sakura up front and use... and just use Fire Punch. I was about to say, I don't have fire coverage, and then I remembered what the whole point of Sakura is. Alright. Of course, someone else pops up, but we can side beam it. Blast it! That one shot? Okay, good. Okay, this is actually good experience gains here. It'll be easy to train up Sakura for the gym, but Shadow Ball will just murder me. Okay, Weezings. They're all level 38, for crying out loud. Like, they, the wild Pokemon levels are that of Whitney's levels, for crying out. I just said that expression already. I don't know why I need to say it again. But you know what I mean. Oh, I couldn't kill. Ugh. Oh boy! Fun! Nine thirty nine. Well, now I have to go back and heal. I can't fight the rival like this. <laughs> and it would side beam again. Get another level. Thanks for the sub there, friend. Appreciate it. Only 10 HP left. You're about to faint. <laughs> or will they kill us first? Oh, hi, Cubone. Level 38 Cubone. Catch it, it would immediately evolve into Marowak, but... Can Marowak even do anything in Gen 2? Or is it, like, entirely dependent on having the club for a higher critical hit? Was the club for critical hits or just general attack boost? I can't remember now. It needs the club, basically. Okay. Oh, hi, Macargo. How are you? Uh, not so sure I can one-shot this, but I'll try. Club is plus two attack? Damn, I didn't realize it was that good. I hope it comes with, a. Uh... Alright, here it goes. Dana, can you finish it? I hope it's like, uh isn't a low chance of being found. There we go. It is the burn tower, I guess. Oh my... <laughs> you can get the club from Buena's password. I've been using it. Okay. Let's just spit on it and leave. Usually items like that in a vanilla playthrough, they're like a 5 to 10% chance of being held. I can't remember if Chansey has a 5 or 10% chance of the Lucky Egg, but that's the only way to get it. There we go. It's 5%? Okay. Didn't realize it was that freaking good. Too bad Marowak's probably not uh, fast enough to take advantage of that. Okay, let's go again. As soon as I put Sakura up front, all the Parasect just went running for the hills. Okay. Back to the top. We want to run into the Pokemon here, because we want to train. Okay, not gonna fight you, but can definitely use other Pokemon to train on you. Oh, come on. Oops, all my cargos! Suddenly, my cargo everywhere. The fire just is still going inside, apparently.
Okay, I can kill this one quickly. Two Parasect in a row, and then BAM, never again. The game knows what you put up front. It wants to make grinding as obnoxious as possible. I know that the encounter tables change a bit during the night, though. Um, like, for example, outside of the daycare, you could find Slugma at night. I know that because I was grinding at night. Okay. Marowak can actually overflow its attack in Gen 2 with Sword Stance if its DVs are, hot, are too high. Really? What happens if you overflow? Does it actually just go back around to, like, uh, an attack stat of, like, 1 or 2? That'd be pretty funny. Yeah. Yep, that's funny. That's really funny. Is it the only Pokemon that can do that? It'll run things. I only found that wheezing one time. Recargo's only thing is that it has physical defense, right? Like, even Golem is better than it, I think. Alright, let's try and fight you. Oh, it's you! I came looking for some legendary Pokémon they say roost here. But there's nothing here! Nothing after all the trouble of coming to this dump? No way. It's all your fault. Oh boy. You know what you got? Doug Trio? You've got shiny moles! My moles are stronger, though. Okay. I need this ice punch to count. It's got shiny nose and dirt. Alright, I can one-shot you. Perfect. Close enough. Scizor. Send it out. Come on. Go on, send out the Scizor. Sakura's got this. We used the freeze, now we're using the fiery. Okay. Look at that. Look at her go. 11 more levels to Alakazam, Octillery. Alright, let's go for Thunder Punch. This is a drastically different team than last time. Return? Uh oh. I did Wait, since when is Octillery fast? Was that a thing? Okay. I might have the Quick Claw. Oh. Okay, so it's 50-50. It definitely is clawed, okay. I was about to say, Octillery outspeeding, um, Kadabra is, like, weird. Dragonair. Sakura is handling this whole team by herself. Look at her go. Or speed tie. I don't think. Come on. Keep going, girl. You got this. Almost. Alright. It was a good run. She did damn good. He took recoil, but he's probably gonna use a max potion or full restore now. I guess I should go for Alligator, since I'm not going to be able to take the Meganium with for Alligator. I forgot I had Ice Punch on this thing, to be honest. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Meganium. Alright. Too bad I don't have Fury Cutter on this one. Uh... I send out Dana, it mean it's not gonna be able to raise relief, but it's gonna body slam me, which is gonna cause problems. Hmm. Try and soften it with submission first, and then go for her alligator's ice punch. Dunk Trio will easily die to it. What you got? What you got, Flower Dino? 42. All that grinding, I'm only six levels ahead of my rival. You think you're over level, but no, you're not. How much do I do? Okay, that's a de decent chunk. You got ancient power. Okay, luckily the fighting type neutrals that out. What? Oh, and you have leftovers. Okay. 
Thank goodness I don't have recoil. I might be able to do this. A solid crit would go far, too. One more. Don't get the boost. That was a crit. Recovered. There's the max potion. Is Meganium primarily a physical attacker? I know it's more of a defensive starter. Can still do some solid damage, let's go. I remember it using Earthquake to kill Dylan's Magmar. Oh nice, I got the crit. Okay, good. Dana is carrying, I love her. What do we got? 41. Okay. Hitmon top. Well, I'm about to die anyway. Let's see if I can outspeed and get it. Ready to spin. How about another crit? I think we got him now. Ooh. There's Rock Slide. Okay, remember when I said Charizard wouldn't have to worry about rock moves? Well, it turns out Silver is packing rock coverage, apparently. So I'm gonna have to watch out for that. finish you off. Nice. C clearly, Dana and Sakura were a good investment. Hm. This is why I hate battling wimps. There's no challenge in it, bro. You got your ass beat. Oh, whatever. You would never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. I have fallen and broken my bones. Hm. What are you doing falling into a hole? Some genius you are. Serves you right. He's never going to help me. He just turns around. Also, I still don't understand why it's bright in here. No item up this way. Oh, good, wheezing. Just what I want to see. Is Rock Slide even a TM? Or is it like more of an egg move in Gen 2? I should have just walked north right away. The Weezings are here to go boom. They're going to boom everywhere. Here they are. Did any of the beasts get a uh, buff base stats? I don't think so, right? I think I asked this before. I'm pretty much at the mercy of whether... Whatever their DVs are, if I do catch them, though. I dug a hole here, too. I was shocked. Suicune raced by like a blur right in front of my eyes. For ten years, I chased Suicune, and I finally got to see it. I'm all choked up. I owe this all to you. Thank you. I heard that the legendary Pokemon of Ecritique tests chosen humans by allowing them to get close. I'm going to track Suicune. Let me, let's meet again. Farewell. Alright. There's Haunter. Not sure if I want to run a Gengar, but if I want to hunt for one down here, I could do that. Yeah, gold and silver had, like, the bright lighting for Burn Tower, but crystal version made it dark, and I guess Crystal Kaizo changed it back for whatever reason. Alright. Now, before we go fight the gym, it's clear that I can get some good training in at the tower, so I should do that. I am so amazed what the Heracross and Kadabra were able to do in that rival fight. Like, they just did so well. Mm. Kadabra with the elemental punches is just such a such a solid investment. The special attack is so high, just perfect coverage, it's great. I can see why it's a favorite to transfer back to run in Pokemon Stadium. Speaking of which, we're finally gonna start round two for that sometime this week. Um How close was Sakura here? Yeah, she can get another level. Alright. Back to the tower. This week, I finished up a few playthroughs, so I'm gonna go back and focus on some other stuff now. It's good. 
Can't bike in here. I don't know how long round two will take for Stadium, but let's see if I can finish it before Stadium 2 drops. We got a cat? Good. Mm. Alright, thanks, Yo-Yo. Forgot to ask you to plug the Discord, but you're on it anyway. Appreciate it. 928. The Game Boy TCG drop yet? I'm not sure. I should try that sometime, too. Okay, there's a rat. I'm gonna fight that. A. Okay, there's a free item. I guess I'll just put Rock Smash on the Sand True. I don't think Rock Smash got buffed in power anyway. Now, can I one shot you with Psybeam now? Let's find out. Let's find out! Just enough. All right, little shrew. You've got to help us out. We got you here for a reason. Come on. Actually has some solid moves there. Rock looks breakable. There we go. Oh, friend, welcome. Okay, now what? I'll see what the item is in just a moment. Just a moment. Level 38 Pokemon is pretty absurd for Burn Tower, though. This is like... Like, for comparison to Vanilla Crystal, this is like Victory Road wild levels, I think. Because I'm pretty sure Will's first Pokemon at the Elite Four is level 44, I want to say. Also nice. Okay, let's see who's close. 24 special's pretty nice. 10,000, you're good. You could get another one. You don't care about, you're just here for headbutt, I guess. And you got this much. I don't even know if I need to level you up. You might be able to do some da damage to, like, the Haunter and Gengars that are no doubt gonna be in there. Oh, hey, an HP up. I guess I can use this. If it even works. Let's see, Dana has that much. HP was pretty bad for Sakura, so I can give her that, but it's already she's already gonna die in one hit anyway, so I may as well buff something that's already strong to make it stronger. Did it even go up though? Nope, it didn't, it wasn't enough. Oh well. There's a rodent, and I still have Sakura up front. I just realized, um... What can Dana even do in the Ghost Gym? I mean, obviously they're gonna have more than Ghost types, because there's only the Gengar family and Miss Drevis. I mean, yeah, that's true. The wild Pokémon levels need to be high, otherwise grinding would be even more tedious, but still. It's just kind of funny that we're, at, we're not even into the fourth gym yet, and the wild Pokemon levels are that of, like, endgame. Bone meringue. Sorry, that wouldn't hurt me, little bone. But I will hurt you with this. How much does that give? For the Pokemon that aren't gonna be ghost types, we should be able to hit them, I hope. Do something with submission. Of course Parasect shows up now that we're finally done with Sakura. How much can I do to you with this? You're probably gonna spore and paralyze me anyway, but... Yeah, not nearly enough anyway. The Giga Drain. Run from it. It's not worth it. Remember when I was running into back-to-back Macargos? 
Ugh. I swear the encounter table changes every time I enter the building because there were no radicates and now there's suddenly radicates. Kill. Kill! Can't stand the rodents. Especially after that one the other week. The one that frickin' just startled the hell out of me running out from the side of the fridge. Suddenly orphans. Do you think their parents burned in here? I don't know. Break its little skull. You got Earthquake? Earthquake? Wow, if you had a club, that'd be pretty sick. But... You're too fast, or sorry, you're too slow, I should say. You don't have good special defense. Like, that's all Marowak really has, right? Like, defense, and with the club, and I guess it'll have a de really good attack stat. Alright, hit the next thing. It has some special defense? Okay. Oh, time we ran into Macargo again. We'll break up with this. Uh, almost there. I want at least one more level before I go into the gym. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have a second move on Heracross to like level 50, I think. Marowak has a bleh 60 base HP. Damn. How is a lowland Marowak? Um, like, does the club still work for that? I assume it would, but doesn't it become like a special attacker in that? With that? I don't actually know now that I think about it. Alolan Marowak's only really in Alola. And I suppose. Actually, all the Alola forms are in Let's Go to some degree. I wonder how viable Alolan forms are for, like, a, a regular playthrough. Anyone try using them? I mean, I suppose it would be kind of fun to use Alolan Marowak, Sand Slash, uh, Raichu, that's what I'm thinking of. That'd be kind of cool. Used an Alolan Muck, yeah. I, a lot of the Alolan forms, or all of them are just Kanto forms anyway, so that's why they're all of it in Let's Go. Oops, I just mashed the button. This isn't going to do much at all. It has Giga Drain instead of Leech Life. Oh yeah, Alolan Ninetales. Yeah, a lot of the Alolan forms would be pretty cool for that team. Cool for a regular team, I mean. One more good hit would work. I don't remember. Um, Are Mega Forms in Let's Go? Or are only some of them? I remember hearing something about that, but I never, like, looked into it to any degree. Is it, like, post-game only or something? I don't know. Alright, it's super effective. Seen Mega Pidgeot. I mean, imagine only the Megas that are at Kanto forms, of course, but... What I'm just wondering is if they're in the game. Alright, let's go heal, and let's get in there. Heal them all up. You fix my headphones. Alright, so Morty is definitely gonna have more than Ghost, but everything is probably gonna know Shadow Ball for the hell of it. So Heracross will have some use in here. Uh, I suppose I could also beat the rest of the Kimono Sisters to get Surf, because Surf on for Alligator could work. For now, let's just go in and see what we have to deal with. There's fighting the Gym Trainers as well. Morty's going to have six Pokemon, but I get the feeling that Morty's going to be much more manageable than Whitney was last time. Oh, what? Uh, it's dark in here, but not actually dark enough to use Flash. That's weird. Can you inflict any damage on our Pokemon? Yes, I can. Oh, I don't like- I don't like that battle transition on the dark screen. Ping. 
Unknown? That's not a ghost. It's an A. Well, Unknown's got no stats, right? Yeah, I can just two-shot it. If this is Hidden Power Ghost... No, okay. Stung a little bit. Alright, there it goes. Only 500, barely more than the Wildmons. Porcela. Um, that's not a ghost yet. Um, could Thunder Punch it. Hold up, when did Crystal Kaizo come out? Before or after Sword and Shield? Because if it was before, then this is a pretty funny coincidence. Before? Oh, that is okay. Okay, okay that's funny. I'm stumbling over my words. But there's Sir. I think 2014. Oh yeah, that was long before. Excellent. Magmar, also not a ghost. Hmm. Could just go for magnitude. The trio's still good, but I definitely want to get a different replacement for a physical attacker. I am thinking about Golem, seriously. Because even though Golem has the times four weakness to grass and water, I mean, Pokemon like Dugtrio have so little defense and HP that they might as they're gonna die in one hit from everything anyway. Okay, Golbat. I suppose, though, if Alakazam and Gengar are level 55, then Golem's probably at 55, too. Send Sakura back in. Looks like I'm gonna have to go back and heal. So they're level at level 40. I probably should go beat up the Kimono Sisters. They all have level 38 evolutions. Kill. Kill. We're not getting to 55 in this gym, but we're close. Ten more levels. Haunter. Yeah, keep going. Dana and Sakura are intended to be on the team forever. That's why I gave them nicknames. Charizard still looks good for fire coverage. Here we go. It should learn Flamethrower via level up, I hope. I say that as I have a Feraligator level 49 that still knows Water Gun. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's some Copium right there. Don't worry, guys. Flamethrower is right around the corner. I could always give it Fire Punch in the meantime. Oh god, that might be all I can do. Oh no. Stab Fly might not be too bad if it's uh, turn one. Okay, heal up. I mean, they could have specifically delayed any water moves on Feraligator simply because Surf is uh, mandatory. That would make sense. Let's fight you now. Is it my Barrette pretty? Oh, a Pokemon battle? Yes. Pokemon battle. We got... Zuki. Oh, she got Espeon. Well, it's the worst one to come out first, then. Unless I can just... inflict the status on you. Sing? Really? Still think I should also soft reset for a good EV? An Umbreon or Vaporeon being used as a tank would be pretty decent. Sing and Hypnosis only have 55 accuracy, but they're pretty ass and they always mostly always hit when the opponent goes for them anyway. gonna get the burn for extra damage. Oops, I meant to go to Ice Punch. All the punches are the same power. Alright, hit him again. And you keep going for your potions. 
This is why it's important to be higher level so we can one-shot everything. I'm just going for it. I don't care. You've annoyed me. Yeah, there we go. There's the crit I deserve. 46. 127. That's not, That's pretty good. I don't have any Pokemon left. No, you don't. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and heal right quick. All that's left is Vaporeon and Flareon. I don't remember which one has which though. And Thunder Punch Vaporeon. This isn't the Pokemon Center. What the hell am I doing? My brain doesn't is just like walking towards the gym, looking for the center. All right, heal me up. Pokemon are fully healed. Yada yada yada. I'm just doing this for Surf. Surf may or may not help me in the gym. It's just gonna be a random mishmash of Pokemon. Do you like my dancing? I'm good at Pokemon too. Are you now? Miki would like to battle. Okay, here's a Vaporeon. Just hit it with Thunder Punch, and it will go away. Probably. Maybe. Okay, one more good hit. If Surf is all it can do, I pretty much got this. I can just put, um... Uh, Doug Trio up front to deal with the Flareon. Nice. Damn, 1953 on one kill. Ooh, you're good at Pokemon, too. Of course I am. Alright, Doug Trio. You still have your use as a switch in. Oh, you're a cute trainer. Would you like battle? They should make Let's Go Teddy Ursa. They probably won't because they're cowards. But if they made Let's Go Teddy Ursa, that would be the best selling game ever because it has Teddy Ursa in the name and cover. Everyone knows that. Who else are they gonna put on the cover? Cleffa? I don't think so. Uh, okay, good enough. You got some good damage. That one was level 40, I just realized. The other ones were 38. Was the Umbreon 38, uh, 40? You're stronger than you look. Let's go, Peekaboo. Not only are the Kimono Girls great dancers, they're skilled at Pokemon. I always challenge them, but I've never even left a scratch. The way you battled, it was like watching a dance. It was a rare treat to see. I want you to have this. Don't worry, take it. HM3. It's a move. Let's Pokemon swim! Alright. Let's put this on. No one else can learn it, except Nido King, but you don't need it to surf. Alright, goodbye, Water Gun. You served me, like, or will you stop being useful after, like, the errand with the Professor Elm? Okay. Covers that. Thank you for waiting, your Pokémon are fully healed. Hmm... Could just put Sakura up front. It's kind of the safest bet at the Ghost Gym. If I try and train Dana too much there, she's just gonna get walled. From the, uh, inevitable, like, opening Haunter or Gengar. Should make a save, it's been a bit. Okay. It's not the same layout, is it? Oh dear. Okay. 
Okay, that's as far as I can go there. Is it still the same? Okay, stump by invisible floor, defeat me if you can. It is the same layout. It's just they move the trainers to kind of, like, trick you. Because they're usually a landmark for you to use. Okay, nine tails. Nine tails can be a scary Pokemon, but does it have Shadow Ball? It can definitely learn Shadow Ball. I can do that too. All right, I think I'll just switch to Paraligator instead of uh, risk the confusion. It's weird to see people catching up to Feraligator and, and level now. Iron Tail? That's a weird choice to run on that. But I guess you were going for a physical attack on Kadabra, so I can't be too critical. Hey, there we go. 801. 801. Saw to could just thunder punch it. It might also go for confuse ray, but I'll hit it pretty damn hard. Forty two. Morty's gonna have like mid forties Pokemon, or maybe even late forties. <laughs> no, and Whitney's entire team is like late thirties. Oh jeez, it's gonna get rough. And there it is. Morty forgot to pay his electric bill. Maybe. Maybe the Pokemon just like it in the darkness. You ever think about that? We've all just had those days where we sit in the darkness just chilling. Whether we're watching TV, playing video games, or sleeping. Sometimes it's comfy when the lights are out. But maybe not when you can fall off, um, and a bit fall off of a bridge. Oh boy, I love this strategy. Use Confuse Ray, and I use Max Potion. This is a fun strategy. Flip a coin to see if you can play. There is some kind of entity out there that is making every attack I do go down to red. And <laughs> it's getting on my nerves. You are still confused. How have you not broken out of this already? How? Well, I'm dead. That's cool. Well then, you know what? I'm, heck it, I'm gonna go heal anyway. I'm gonna see if Zayna can get the kill. I took a quick drink, yeah. Yeah! Medium Grace was defeated. What? Why? Why? How'd I lose? Oh. I go like that? Alright, back we go and heal. Shall we heal your Pokemon? Yes, we should. I wonder if I should pop back into the burn tower and get another level so I can kill things more easily with Sakura. 3,500. Yeah, I can go to the next gym trainer. The Burn Tower will be a good place to round out levels between attempts, at least. Okay, oops. So it looks like the way forward is through here. I shall win. It's not the exact same layout. Boys and annoying. Martha! Okay, I can- I can punch this. Getting that Sakura sweep. I can't go to the left or right routes without Surf. They're both blocked by water, so I need this gym badge. Noctowl able to take a special hit. Don't know if its base stats are buffed at all. By the way, chat, I learned this recently. Did you know you can get level 10 Noctowls by headbutting trees? I didn't realize Noctowls could fall out of the out of the tree as well. I thought it was just Hoot. Urgen. Oh, nice. 
It looks so glossy in that sprite. I think they're like 2%. Oh, are they? Alright. Nice. Submission with that 80 power really working good. Rapidash, that's not a ghost. Just surf it. For alligators, just kind of chilling, sticking around because of pure bulk. But there are going to be better starters to work with later on. Yeah, whatever. That does nothing. Splash some water on it. Watch it cry. Okay, good. One shot. Medium Martha was defeated. I lost! Yes, you did. One more trainer. Okay. I see what I gotta do. One, two... Do this. So one step? Okay, I only take one step out of there, and then I have to go down. Two. There we go. I spent the spring with my Pokemon, then summer, fall, winter, then spring came again. We've lived together for a long time. Jeffrey got one. Mantine. Man time! Okay. Thunder Punch. There we go, look at that. 1584. Another level up's right around the corner. Wins and losses, I experienced both. Alright. I guess I'll spend my money and challenge the gym. I might not win, but we need to see what he's got to prepare for. Okay, I'm gonna be hunting for shiny starters soon enough, so I should stock up on Great Balls, too. 22 of those. I bought a bunch of Super Repels. Probably should get some Super Potions with the last of this. For the field, of course. Buy one more Super Repel, too. Alright, let's heal up and give this a shot. We can start with good old Sakura. Oof. Fix this here. Your Pokemon are fully healed. We're gonna have a fun time. Yes, we are. Hmm. You don't belong in the middle there. You four should be able to do this. I still don't have an item for Sakura at all. There are the other ones, really. I suppose once I have Surf, I could backtrack for the Mystic Water right quick. Okay. Now let's see if I can figure this out. One, two. One, two. All right. Oops. One, two. Two, go up to, to the right, and around, get to you, go up, up, then up. Okay. Damn it! So close! I thought I was on the safe platform on the other side. Ugh. Okay. Back again! So trolly. Alright. Wait, I can't go over that way? 
Wait, then that that's not the right way to them? Is there does it branch in two ways? Oh no. see the bridge when I fall. Like, that flash doesn't, like, reveal it for a split second. Oh, it's gonna take me a while just to get to him, isn't it? Okay, so, oops. Yep, yeah, wrong one. Did I see it? I can't quite see anything on my screen. Like, I don't know if it's showing the outline of the bridge when I fall for a second, but I don't see it on my screen. found it, though. Hang on. Alright. Nope, that's not it either. Is there even a path to go to his left side? Because it, it doesn't seem that there is. I genuinely don't know what I'm doing wrong. I feel like I checked all possible ways to get on his left side, and the right side is blocked off by holes. It's as far back as I can go, and I can't go to a side like this. Which means I have to find a way to the left, but I can't do that. There is a left path. That's what I figure, but I, I'm not finding it. <sighs> I don't know where it starts is the issue, so I'm just blindly walking into, hall, into uh, holes until I find it. Yeah, where is it? That's what I'm trying to find out. Damn it. I think I might know what it is now. Hold on. I need to get in front of him. Go all the way to the... Nope. Two steps away from him, then I start going all the way to the left. Okay. Okay. Alright, there we go. That was annoying. Okay, let's try and beat him. Good of you to have come. Here in critique Pokemon have been revered. It's said that a rainbow-colored Pokémon will come down to appear before a truly powerful trainer. I believe that tale, so I have secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. Just a bit more. With a little more, I could see a future in which I meet the Pokémon of rainbow colors. You're going to help me reach that level. Leader Morty would like to battle. We got Shiny Crobat. That thing's fast? It's probably going to mess up, Sakura. Go for it. Oh, Shadow Ball. And that's physical. Wow, that's lame. Well, immediately downed. Now the Ice Punch it, I guess. Can't start with Kadabra. Here it comes. Here comes the confusion. Freeze it. Still confused. Come on. Earn self confusion. Yep. 
Once again, another battle is just up to confusion RNG. That's very fun. Gets health back. Confuse no more. You gonna go for max potion? Come on, bro. No, he's not going for it. He thinks he can kill me. He's probably going to kill me anyway. Yeah, there I go. Well then. Hmm. Pretty much already lost this one anyway. Okay, outspeed him. I don't know what Crobat can do to Tug Trio here, but... I could start with Rock Slide. I don't know if I'd one-shot him, but... Stantler. This I can use Submission for. Yeah, the funny green Stantler. Forgot about that. Yeah, break him. Four levels ahead of me. Can I one-shot? Okay, I can- Oh, no. Oh, that was a crit. Oh, boy. Mistrevis. Uh-oh. I physically can't hit that with, uh, Dana. I need to preserve for Alligator's Crunch for this thing. No Levitate. Four. We got Leftovers, too. Seven. Or if she's the ace. Oh, she's level 47. Yeah, they're going towards the high... the high 40s. Okay. Did I get the Quick Claw? I don't think the lady that gives it there was actually in the park. I remember checking for that last time. Or was that, did I get it somewhere else? I'm dead. So, I physically can't win anymore, because I only have a fighting move on Heracross. So she needs to finish me off and quick. No, I'm pretty sure Miss Drevis has Miss Magia stats in this game, so... She's pretty tough. Go, Shrew. I believe in you. You can do it. Well, Pokemon should hold items, yeah. I'm not sure what you can get in this, though. Alright, so all that grinding to beat Whitney, and we're back at this... We're back in the same situation. Oh, bro, just finish me off with Psychic. There you go. Maybe stolen off a Sneasel. Hmm. There's nothing I can backtrack for yet. Um... It's Sunday, so can I get the pink bow from around New Bark Town? But I can't do anything without that, with that anyway, because it just buffs nor- it just buffs, uh, normal moves. Alright, let's pop into the tower. It's a good grind stuff, grind spot, and there's more things down below, right? I think the encounter rate's better down here, too. Can I one-shot ya? Let's find out. They're level 40. And I'm 46. Miss Ma uh, Mr. Vis probably has Shadow Ball, so it will mess up Sakura with that, for sure. At least I know I can submission the Stantler pretty easily. Well, that was a crit, though, but... 130 Special Attack. That's probably my strongest attack stat of all my team now. This is why I can't do four-hour Kaizo sessions, because you can only go so long before the game walls you, and I have to be like, yeah, I guess I guess I'm gonna have to grind off screen or off stream a little bit, chat. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna drink again. 
How long have I been going? An hour and a half with this. Not bad. Okay. It's fun just to chat, yeah. Twitch chat is, in fact, fun to chat. Well, 99% of you are. Half the other time, I look over at chat and it's someone asking when the next video is coming out. That's probably- that's an exaggeration, but that is a pretty frequent occurrence. There we go. I try to ignore it and, le and let the mods deal with that, but does- does it get annoying, let me tell you. Alright, I can't one-shot you. When next video coming out? First time chatter. Say hello to this new chatter. <laughs> it's just someone asking that, yeah. Oh, I don't have strength. Another one. Or people asking when I'm playing different game. I feel like that should be like a commonly known thing that is rude. Like going into a stream just to be like, hey, when, when other thing? What the hell are you exploding for? That's not good. I'm dead. There we go. Well, battle ended like that. Excuse me, but I'm your biggest fan, and I would like a video right now. Next thing. Well, I can submission the snails. That's good. Hey. Level 40, for crying out loud. No, lurking's fine, chat member. Don't worry. Everyone's welcome to lurk. Okay, Haunter, I can't do anything to that. If it can explode, it probably will. Lots of things can explode in Gen 1 because of the TM compatibility. Hold up, yeah, let me just do that. There we go. Big stretch. Big teddy stretch. I can't one-shot these things. They need to go. Just a strength block for that. Ugh. There we go. Let me see here. No, that is a thing, though, that can annoy me a bit, chat, because, like, I try not to get pissy about it, but, like, uh, half the time when someone does show up to, like, spam ask when next video coming out, what, what happens most of the time is that either I or the mod tell them, hey, stop that, and then when I end the stream, I get, like, an email or message from, the, from said person that's like, Wow, I can't believe you treat your fans like this. I'm never watching you again. <laughs> I had to stop myself from, like, showing those on Twitter, because otherwise I'd be showing them, like, every other day, and it makes me look, uh, look petty. <laughs> Twit longer incoming. <laughs> Do you mean them? Or me? Should shame them? Yeah. Well, I do bring it up sometimes. There we go. Okay, I'm running into the, the types I want to kill with Psychic. Instead of what I want to kill with Dana here. There we are. That was really fun back in May. Like, I remember, like, when I was coming back... Oh, Venomoth. What are you doing here? I think I'll switch and kill this here. Back in May, when I was coming back from, like, recovering from my head injury, I remember sitting on stream, like, explaining what was going on with that, and some... some schmuck just comes in, it's like, hey, when's the next video coming out? It's been a while, and I'm like... And I just wanted to, like, tell that person to get lost right then and there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, who cares what you're talking about? I, I want to watch the next video. Come on, man. Don't you care about your fans? <laughs> Alright, so apparently I picked the worst thing in the world to try and fight. This is always good. Ouch. I'm just gonna go for the kill then. Probably gonna kill me now though, but... Someone will get experience for this, maybe. Uh, oh cool, crit. 
I just wanted to be this quick and easy. Do -do -do -do. That. Well, it doesn't really matter if they know, know or not if I had an injury. It's still kind of rude to just pop into a stream for the sole purpose of asking when the next thing is coming out. I mean, some people treat the Twitch chat like it's, uh, like it's my email or something. There's occasionally times when someone will send me, like, an email, and when I haven't responded to it, they'll go and they'll see that I'm live and be like, Hey, did you get my email? <laughs> and I'm not gonna, like, even, like, talk to them if, if people do that, because that's just rude. There we go. That actually reminds me of one thing, actually, um... Something that happened in recent months that I kind of found really wild. So you know how, like, they send out to, like, streamers and YouTubers, like, those, like, sponsorship messages and emails, right? Oops, I hit the button twice. Let me see here. Hit that. I had, like, uh, this one time when I was streaming, there was this one person that was new that came in. I'd never seen them before, and they were, like... They were nice, and they were active for a few hours, right? And then, like, after the stream, I got an email from them. And turns out that they were just, like, some, like, brand person offering me a sponsorship. And they're like, and they really tried to rub in the fact that, like, Hey, it's me! I'm this person from your stream! I watched your stream all day! Wasn't that cool of me? And then I just never, never saw them again. So, that's just a thing they do now where people will just go into your stream, pretend to be your friend, and then, like, try to, try to, like, get you to reply to your, to their, to their brand deal after the fact. I thought that was really gross. I've never seen that person again, but they just, they showed up for that one stream just to do that. Yeah. There we are. Ugh. The audacity. <laughs> I know. Can you imagine, like, um, being, like, a streamer starting out or something and someone does that to you? Like, someone shows up to your stream and they're all nice and positive and you're like, Oh, wow, I got fans now. And then it turns out they just wanted something after you're done for the day. And then you just, they're just never there again. That just rubs me the wrong way, for sure. Ugh. Like... I can look at that after the after the fact and be like, yeah, that's that's kind of gross. Uh, don't do that. I could imagine like someone with like self esteem issues, like that could just like really just kind of like um, upset them for a good while. Streamer, when's the next sponsor? Never, never. When's the next sponsor? It's me. Give me money so I can spend it on Pokemon cards. Fund the good cause today. <laughs> Let me just put an icon in the corner of the screen. What's the rule again? It has to be like 3%? Just a little icon that says, Give streamer money for cards. <laughs> yeah, that would destroy somebody. There we are. When's, when's the next SoundCloud ra rapper claim? Who knows? Still figuring that one out. All right. I'm glad this is a good place to grind, because I need levels for Morty, clearly. Ugh. Sponsor a teddy in, me in need? Imagine if I got a commission for that, for a little piece of art in the corner there. It's just teddy or so hold up a sign that says, Give Cart Money. Does that technically count as, like, uh, a brand thing? No, it wouldn't, because it's my own. I could make it as large as I want. There we go. Bear in the corner. When's the next teddy? When's the next teddy bear? Somewhere around the corner. Excellent. Using a submission on a Macargo would probably hurt yourself. Like, wouldn't, like, poking that thing just, like, si like singe your hand off? Singe is probably too weak a word for what would happen, but... We haven't had a bear in the corner for a while. Should I put a teddy? I could put a teddy. There's Parasect. Hold up a sec. I'm looking. I'm looking. You can put a King Teddy. Yeah, look at that. 
Look at all that money. The money bear. The King Teddy. I'll just put it there for a second. How about that? <laughs> Last time I used that one was when I uh, was doing the Link to the Past rando that I still can't get uploaded because claims. That's actually my icon for the Discord. I didn't ask for it, but uh, I think it was Demo that commissioned Gomi for it. Hang on. A shiny bear with a crown, because I'm the king bear. Okay, good, I woke up. I knew I was going to switch into sleep. It's a very cute one, though, isn't it? Maybe if I had this, uh, the emote slots, I could make it a regular emote for everyone to use, but I don't have enough room for that now. There we go. Maybe, like, over the summer we can get a lot more subs. There we go. I would like to see, see the channel grow a bit more if I could. That would be nice. Ugh, th things were a little bit slow this week, because I mostly spent it finishing off a few long playthroughs. It's not usually, like, the biggest draw, but... I'm planning to go a little bit, little bit more in with Mystery Dungeon and Pokemon Stadium, so, you know, if I put the Pokemans front and center, then I'll probably get the clicks in here. Okay. Let me see if I can get to 44. That would be good. Hang on. I can put the bear away now, but I can do the Teddy Bops for people that haven't seen them. One of my favorite emotes. This one we do have on Twitch. Hang on, I guess I am shamelessly plugging the channel now, aren't I? Oop. Yeah, look at those bears. Look at those bears. Do you see how happy those ten Ursas are? Bop on their head to the music. <laughs> no shame in that. This is me when you ask me when next video. There we go. Alright, I'm just gonna run from this. Every time I switch into Sakura, I just get hit by the hit by spore. I'll put him there for a moment. <laughs> How do the headphones cover their ears? They probably hear it well enough. They're holding them together. Thanks for getting this up there, Sable. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. They're jamming. Pay no attention to the fact that one of the bears technically has an inverted moon sign, but... That's just because it's mirrored. Alright. You can say goodbye to the baby teddy now. Boop. Boop. We need more slots. Yes, we do. We'll probably get a big boost around September. Sub goals went really well last year, so I wanted to do that again. Technically, this game right now is a sub goal, but it took so long to get to because too much stuff happened. Jeez. Alright, I'm gonna make the switch. I keep running into these now. Ah, I knew it. Oh, whatever, I'm running. I'm running. I didn't kill the bears. I just put them away for now. The bears need a rest, too. If they bop their heads too much, they hurt their necks, and that's not good. Here we are. <laughs> yeah, I did kind of, like, kind of screw myself a bit when I started so many longer playthroughs, because <laughs> it's kind of hard to maintain, like, hype when you have so many series that reach, like, past part 10, but that's okay. There we go. Finishing off multiple things this week was good. Now I can... I think the next time I start a longer, uh, longer game, I'll probably try to be more focused on it so it doesn't take forever. Like with Digimon... I want to play more of that really badly, but it's only had, only had time for it like once a week or every week or two weeks. It sucks. Okay. Break that down. Break the rat. Will this be enough for 44? Not quite. Come on. I want to guarantee that I could probably kill the Stantler even without the crit. Darn it. 
Parasect is never gonna show up when I put Kadabra up front, too. Back and forth we go. Back and forth we go! One more slug. When you think about it, Macargo just kind of sliding around everywhere is pretty dangerous. Like, uh, what is it? Doesn't the Pokedex say that its magma is, like, hotter than the sun? Or is that a different Pokemon with some kind of nonsense, like, like, temperature? Ooh, 100 special defense. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's go try Morty again. Or not. Hang on a second. All right. Get it. I think it says it's like 10,000 degrees. Okay, that's not the, like the sun, right? I, that might be a stupid question, but I don't care enough to know if I'm wrong. <laughs> Celsius or Fahrenheit? There we go. Hotter than the surface of the sun, which won't destroy the Earth, but will melt a human if they're too close. I think I talked about this during Skyward Sword, but... Does, it, does anybody find it kind of trippy how, like, lava or magma is basically, like, melted rock? Like, how hot does something have to be to be to melt frickin' rocks? That's just, like, man... That crap, like, you wouldn't even feel how hot it is. You put your hand in that, and, like, your hand is just gone, and, like, your nerves will not be able to process it in time. Or rather, like, send a signal to your brain, I suppose. Depends on the rock. Oh, have we got any, um... Rock experts in chat? Hmm. The first one was Crobat. I know that Doug Trio can outspeed it. Doug Trio can't really do a whole lot in this fight, so I may as well just sack it for that. Make a save. My playtime is abysmal because I was grinding wild Pokemon with the speed up a little bit last night. So don't worry about it. Let's see if I can remember the way. Okay. Look at that. First try. One of you to have come. Let's do it. It's like the inverse of how cold does it need to be for air to freeze. Oh, I haven't thought about that one before. That sounds terrifying. You're going to help me reach that level. Lava is super dense. If you jumped into lava, you wouldn't sink. It would be like going onto cement. Really? I don't plan on jumping onto lava, but good to know. I wonder if I could flinch lock it. Video games lied to me. Can you believe this? This is like how Harvest Moon lied to me about romance. You're telling me that if I don't give a girl unwanted gifts every day, she won't love me? I think I, I said that backwards, but whatever. Unbelievable. Aw, oh, darn it. Personally, though, I think if you give a person a teddy every day, they will be your best friend. And I'm dead. Unfortunate, Rock Slide doesn't do enough damage, and I lost the Confusion Rule. Could go for Alligator Ice Punch, I suppose. Would this be enough to kill? Maybe I should have grinded you one level. Oh my goodness, great. Let's go. Did you get a crit? Yeah, you did get a crit. Man. Well, I kind of really lost this one. So uh, I'm just going to reset. <laughs> I just got RNG'd the hell right there, so... Redo. Oh, I saved outside the gym. Damn. I thought I saved in front of Morty. Whatever. And I put Doug Trio up front, okay. For a second there, I was like, oh god, did I just, like, not save after grinding? I know the way now.
There we are. It's said that a rainbow-colored Pokemon will come down before a truly powerful trainer. I believe that tale. Secretly trained here all my life. I result in those who would understand. Not just a bit more with a little more. I uh, can see a future where I meet the rainbow Pokemon. There we go. Let's see if I can get lucky this time. I lost the confusion rolls, so I just couldn't kill it. That's great. I wonder if I should go for try attack and like try and inflict the damage on him or a status on him. Because I'm not going to get the flinch with Rock Slide. It doesn't even take him to half, so... If I can inflict him with something, for Alligator could probably finish it off. Assuming it doesn't pull Restore. Nope, I didn't get it. Reset until try attack freeze. <laughs> that might have to be the play because Doug Trio is faster. I can also go for Ice Punch Freeze, assuming I don't lose the confusion. Remember, he got a crit last time, too, that just messed me up. Oh, cool, he poisoned me. That's what I needed. Will this be enough to one-shot? Ah, damn. And now we're gonna be locked into, uh... Oh, you're not- you're not going for Bulbasaur. Well then. Punch. Break your wings. Alright, what's next? Lantern? Uh, what the hell do I do about that? Even if I had Doug Trio. Uh, I suppose Sakura would be fine with her special defense. I need to save Dana. Dana's only good for the Stantler. I might be able to submission this as well, but... Sakura's pretty vulnerable to most of it anyway, so I'll just try this. Psybeam now. I can't rely on the confusion chance getting it, but how mu much of a tank is it? Oh, it's powerful. And it goes for T-Wave. And it has leftovers, too. Of course it does. Of course it does. Maybe I should save Doug Trio and just pray that I roll a high magnitude when it comes out. Even then, probably wouldn't kill it. Training? Not good enough. Yeah, Lantern has really high HP, so... Well, looks like we lost this one. Once again, it looks like I have nothing to do except beat up wild Pokémon until I can beat the Gym Leader. Ooh, so close. It's kind of funny, because I can... I'm sure there'll be people who see the start of this episode and be like, Did you grind a little too much? <laughs> it's like, nope. No, I didn't. Alright, potion. Nope, no potion. Well, at least I'll get the EXP for this. Fifteen hundred. Mistrevious. Yeah, just... just put me out of my misery. I can't hit this thing. I probably should give myself some kind of TM for Dana so that I can hit things. Isn't Dana's next move Megahorn, though, so it won't even be good against Ghost? Oh, you have Thunderbolts! You have Thunderbolts! That's, that's so good. I'm so happy for you. Too bad I can't- this isn't Gen 4 and, I, and Dana can't just have, like, Night Slash or something. Go on, finish me, coward. Finish me! Here it comes! Earthquake is next? Oh, that would be pretty good. 
Um, do you know what level I learned that? Because that could come in handy against Haunter and Gengar if he has it too. Level 50. Oh, I'm not reaching that on stream. Okay. It's just I'm completely over overpowered here. I just don't have the means to take him out. Finish me off. There we go. All right. And again, I know for alligator is going to need some levels, so let's just go head back into the tower. Should be able to usurp on the cargo and all that. Crunch on the ghosts. Technically, the lower floors are two levels higher, so we can do this. Seems like the encounter rate's higher on the in the cave down here, anyway. Give it a crunch. If it's enough. We can get some more levels, and we can give Morty one more solid attempt. And then that might be it for Crystal Kaizo. Because I, it seems like I hit a wall again. Like, it's funny, because I said that when I get to Ecrotique, things will be more open. But I need his badge for Surf, and I can't go to Mahogany or Olivine without without that. Both of them are immediately just blocked off by, um, water. Oh boy. Oh, that doesn't do anything. You got Fire Blast? <laughs> Why does Wild Weezing have Fire Blast? We could go get a Charmander. We could, but it would basically just be me resetting until I get a good one, yo-yo. So I might as well just do that off stream, because I gotta punch it into the calculator as well. I just found it knowing Fire Blast is so funny. Nope, there's no Mount Mortar. It's just so it's completely sealed off by water. You can take, like, five steps outside of the gate, and it's just water. Same with the left path. They de very deliberately do not want you going anywhere until you beat Morty. Okay. Defense is a little higher now. Yeah, you should be able to breed in Crystal Kaizo, yeah. I don't know if that's really gonna do anything for me. If it gets me stuff with good egg moves, I'd have to grind them up anyhow. Thanks for sub there, Dante. Appreciate that. 21 months of bears. There we go. 720. Another one of these. Blocked the road right? Yeah, I just said that. That's what that's where Mount Mortar is, the right road. I'm not gonna bother fighting Weezing. Let me try going back to the top floor. The worst Pokemon keeps showing up. Kind of funny how I can bike down here, but not in here. <sighs> Weezings aren't showing up when Sakura was out, that's all I can say. Back and forth. Back and forth. We're literally trapped with Morty. I also did beat the Kimono Sisters already as well. I feel like I could explore a little bit more in, um, uh, Gen 1, but Gen 1 also did have, like, more trainers to rearrange, I suppose. So it did feel like there were more fights to get through. Hmm. There's not much point in putting something in the daycare. I'm sure with, like, a few solid levels, the team will stand a better chance. Doug Trio, I am gonna need for this fight, because I'm gonna need it specifically for uh, Lantern now. I think maybe what I should do for dealing with Crobat, I might just have to start with for Alligator and get a lucky Ice Punch to, like, freeze it or critical it right away. I'm not gonna outspeed it. Doug Trio can outspeed it, but Doug Trio is very frail and dies quickly. I suppose what I could do, since Doug Trio is gonna die one hit from, um,. Lantern anyway, I could I could start the battle with try attack trying to paralyze burn or freeze it And if I get that I can switch into for alligator to finish off crowbat 
And then when uh, Lantern comes out, I could throw it out there and hope for a good magnitude. That's all I can really think of with that, to be honest. Doug Trio is just very frail. It has one of the worst HP stats, like, ever. Well, at least for ground types. It's fast, but just no damn HP. Alright. Getting teensy bit of experience here now. Um, trying to think what else I could do. Stantler should be okay to be dealt with by, um, uh, Dana. I can also use Submission against the Lantern as well. But that's kind of like a backup plan if Doug Trio goes down, because I could definitely finish it, but it's pretty chunky and it's got leftovers. Alright. Character dying here. Okay. Fast is unusual for ground types, not the worst thing ever. I mean, I guess, but... Problem is, because it's Morty, most of his Pokemon have Shadow Ball, so Sakura's not very safe because this is Gen 2 and Ghost-type counts as a physical attack, so I can't really take a single Shadow Ball. Maybe if I get a few more levels, I could. For Alligator doesn't have amazing IVs, but it's just kind of here because it's my starter and it has bulk. It will be replaced eventually. Like, I'm considering, like, a good bulky water Pokemon. Somebody is speeding by outside. I thought it was a lawnmower out at first. Couldn't kill. Alright, let's hit it with Ice Punch and Heal. A few levels do go a long way, though, in these fights. Like, all it took was, like, three, four, or five on some Pokemon, and Whitney was just much easier. It's kind of funny, because remember a little while ago when I got to Silver in the tower? Um, his Pokémon, like, more than half of them were basically dealt with by Sakura alone. I don't really want to get a Slowbro, because I already have a Psychic-type with, a uh, Kadabra. Okay. Trying to not give myself too many repeating weaknesses if I can, as I really ended up regretting that in Blue Kaizo sometimes. Okay. Although I suppose technically early on, you could have you could easily get yourself a Slowbro or Slowking. Because you can get Water Stones and Goldenrod, and Slowking is is a Water Stone evolution in this mod. Since you can't trade. Alright, let's ice punch it. 51 should help. 51 should help. Not enough. I never seem to roll the, the freeze chance, do I? I'm trying to think of where I can go. Um, I'm not sure if something will block me off going to Mahogany or Olivine after this, but... I, sh well, I want to say I should be able to go to both locations after Morty is done. I also need to remember that once I can use Surf, I need to go back to Cherry Grove so I can get the Mystic Water. That will be a good held item for, for Alligator and whatever water type replaces it later. I think there's also, I, there's like a rare candy in Violet City you can get with Surf. Um, I suppose I can also go deeper into Union Cave with Surf as well, and the Slowpoke well. No, I need strength for that, what am I saying? That's a bit later. I think this game is pretty much going to expect me to go everywhere with Surf to get the levels, so... Maybe getting Surf finally will open the game up a little more? It's also possible... Hang on. I'm one day ahead here, so... Uh, Thursday my time is where I would catch Lapras. I could try for a Lapras, I don't know. There's only just one. Again, I'd have to... For endgame stuff, I have to hunt for something specifically with good IVs. Otherwise, it won't be worth it. Another level's right around the corner. The Jigglypuff I caught was garbage. I wouldn't want to use it anyway. It's a funny little shiny puff, though. It's squishy. That's what you can say about Jigglypuff. Okay, will this give me the level? 
By the way, I don't know if this is true or not, but I remembered hearing apparently Kadabra and Alakazam don't get psychic via level up in this mod. If that's true, that's pretty crappy. There we go. Get that. A just a tiny bit more. Which is wild, because, like, the wild drowsy outside of National Park, they know Psychic at, like, level 20-something. It's really weird. It's a level 1 move? Oh. And there's no move reminder in this mod, is there? Oh, look, the first cargo finally showed up. If that's the case, I can't get Psychic until Saffron City, uh, the Mr. Psychic House. That would really, really suck. But I need that. Definitely. Luckily, the elemental punches are the main selling point, but strong stab psychic is great, too. Okay, I need to change my front lawn. I got the level up. Alright. Well, you did it, Mr. Gator. Wait, Kadabra learns it later. Wait, what do you mean? Are you saying that if I delay the evolution, I actually will get it? because that could be really important to go for, which I definitely will if that's the case. Sixty-seven? Oh my god! You're telling me that I either get to Kanto when everything's already at max level, or I wait, or I let Kadabra train until level sixty-seven just to learn Psychic. I'm gonna have to do that. Psychic is way better than Psybeam. I need it. I'm gonna have to get the Everstone by going back to Professor Elm. And I'm gonna have to put it on her. I actually am gonna have to do that. Alakazam doesn't get any... Oh, I forgot to switch my mind. Sorry, I'm on autopilot. Alakazam doesn't learn anything unique along the way, right? But what, my ideal move set is Psychic and the three punches anyway, so it should not matter. All right, then. I just have to level up Sakura 20 levels to get Psychic. Or just if I get early Alakazam, I have to wait until uh, the, the free TM that's in Saffron, which might not even be there anymore, mind you. What level... I'm close to Sakura here. 67 isn't that bad, considering where you're at. Yeah, 67 will be by the time I reach uh, Jasmine, that's, our, that's for sure. I'm trying to think of all the areas I should be able to go to after this. I can do Union Cave, the entireties of the routes to the right and left. There's Mahogany and the Lake of Rage. Wait, and then there's the Rocket Hideout. Assuming I can still do these in, in any order. There's, um, Olivine, there's the Ocean, there's Cianwood. I should have plenty of stuff to do next time. If I level up myself enough, I should be able to get through the gyms. It probably gets levels faster as Kadabra anyway. Okay. Okay, so this will be the goal then. I'm gonna have to get an Everstone for Sakura soon. And, because I'm gonna forget to unevolve it one time, just watch. And then I will get Psychic eventually. Oh, that's fantastic. That's great. We have a plan, at least. We have a plan. Oh, boy. What about Doug Trio? How close are you? I should get Doug Trio a level, since it's kind of vital for the part of the plan here. The only held item I really have is Soft Sand on Doug Trio. That's kind of the reason it's also around. No, it's Kadabra that learns it at 67. If I evolve it to Kadab or to Alakazam at 55, um, like the mod has it set to, I won't be able to get Psychic anymore except by TM. So it looks like I'm just gonna have to. Oh my God! Stop living and killing me. Well, there goes another one. Alakazam doesn't learn anything after 45. Well, it doesn't. It's not even an Alakazam at 45, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, that's the plan then. Psychic is too significant of a move to pass up. If I could just get that perfect Alakazam. Remember, 
Sakura actually has really good IVs. Like, I think the only thing it was missing is, like, attack and HP, which it doesn't need anyway. So she should actually be perfect for this. Alright. Let me grab a level for Doug Trio, and then we'll go try Morty one more time. We're probably not going to win, but um, it's very clear that all I have left to do at the moment is grind. And, oh, okay, this. Of course we can't get the free Macargo kills. I'll go Sakura then. Because clearly it's going to be time for more off-stream off grinding. I genuinely thought, was starting to think that I grinded a little too much too. But it apparently just doesn't matter. Fire punch. Fire punch, fire punch, fire punch. You get a little bit too, Sakura, because why not? Everybody gets a tiny bit. You get a free Everstone by um, talking to Professor Elm after you've hatched the Togepi egg. I'm not misremembering that, I hope. Rock slide this. Yeah, the goal with Doug Trio is to let it use Tri Attack and try and do something to Probat. Oh, I missed. I missed! Yes, I did. Cool. Rock slide again. Well, at least when I play some Yu-Gi-Oh after this, I'll get to feel powerful with the burn deck again. Since I'm not going to be able to do, like, a full three-hour session of this today anyway, um, I might be able to finish off Tag Force. Trying to finish up that Chumley Part 2 and 3 is the finale. There we go. 928. I just want Doug Trio to have one more level. That Mistrevis is pretty stacked, though. Like, it's got Shadow Ball, Psychic, Thunderbolt, and Confuse Ray, I think the last move was. It definitely confused me at one point, or did something. Okay, seven should kill it. There we go. Imagine if just for the hell of it, um, Pokemon like Macargo could just randomly be holding a Focus Band. So that when you try and grind them, sometimes they just proc it and then explode. That that would be extra Kaizoe right there. And then when you get yourself uh, the Focus Band, it will never activate. Focus Band did exist in Gen 2, didn't it? I'm sure somebody's probably running that crap somewhere. So far, I've just seen a few Quick Claws and uh, Leftovers. Oh, it was... I could have... It had Hypnosis, Nightshade, T-Bolt, and Shadow Ball. Are you sure? I could have sworn it used Psychic on me. In the Saffron Gym, I think. You mean the Focus Band. Oh yeah, we've seen Berserk Gene in Whitney's Gym. I totally forgot about that. That random Meowth that just used Berserk Gene for some reason. Okay, one more kill should do it. That's a rat. I'm just gonna switch into Heracross for this. Dana has earned her place today. She did it. Body slam. Kill. Kill. Body slam that rodent. That's for that one that startled me. Okay, 45. Damn good speed. This attack is still under 100 at this point, though, so, you know. Oh, come on. Alright. Here's a Parasect again. Let's go save and give it a go. It's probably not gonna work out, but... I've already spent all my money, so there's nothing to lose. It is a bit miserable to repeatedly end up in this situation, though, isn't it? It's like, yeah, look how powerful my Pokemon are. I can finally beat the gym leader. And one hour, like an hour later, I'm getting bodied by the next one. Because <laughs> it's... He's nearly ten levels higher than Whitney. All right, let's give it a go. That's Kaizo, though. You're here to watch me struggle. 
99% of you are here to watch me struggle, and 1% of you is here to ask when the next video is. Alright, let's go. Go back here. Two. Alright. Hey, I got it down. Okay. Make a save here, not like it matters. I'm not really gonna save Scum for the try attack right now, or am I? When's the next struggle? Right now, actually. Good of you to have come. We're gonna fight in the dark. Cause it's extra spooky like that. When's the previous video? Previously, that's when. All right, what's he got? I still don't think one level would be enough to take for Rock Slide to take him down to half. He's definitely gonna like a three shot, so it's better to go for this. Please get one of the three. Okay, I got one. What? Are you serious? Well then, there goes that plan, too! Glad we got to learn that one, at least. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So he's packing a Miracle Berry. I'm just gonna go to Fraligator now. <laughs> that... That's a little bit demotivating, ain't it? I came up with a plan, the game was like, no. You don't get to do that one. You're barely doing a thing to me, though, that's good. Probably gonna roll poison on me. We need a good solid ice punch. So I can't status this thing. Damn it. At least we get to learn this funny haha -ha before uh, we end the episode. Her alligator's getting bodied by this crowbat, too. Alright, there it goes. Well, at least we got experience. Lantern. Okay. Doug Trio, this is what we trained for. Can you magic moles do this? Surely you're faster than it. We know it has leftovers, so it can't be clawed. Need a high one. Seven? Uh this definitely won't kill. Unless it, like, crits or something. Ooh. Yep. You should be... Even after leftovers, I might be... I could probably just finish you with Heracross. I hope. There we go. Alright, Dana, you're up. You can only do so much in this fight. Break it. Nice. Alright. Strevis is coming out. I'm gonna get T-bolted by it. Just realized. Uh, can I tank one at this point? Probably not. But, not like you can do much anyway. I know it has leftovers. The question now is what would be the best status to kind of like stop it? Just go for the... My strongest stab option, see how much that does. Maybe confuse it. Oh, that does nothing. Best I can do is just paralyze it. Wait, what? You switched? Okay. It's got good special defense. Probably more so with Miss Magius' stats. Alright. Get Dana the safe switch in by sacrificing the shrew. Got full power return. All the gym leaders apparently do have shiny mons, yeah. 
they had time to hunt for all of those while I'm grinding regular mons. Alright, let's do this. At least the AI isn't cheating and switching into a ghost type when I do this. At least Dana got a good chunk of experience from this battle. Okay, shared it a little bit though, that's okay. Mistrevis. <sighs> Don't think I can really live anything here. I thought about teaching Mud Slap to Heracross, but uh, I don't think it can learn that TM. If it could, that might be the only thing it could do in this fight. Could this paralyze you? Nope. I was hoping I could paralyze it so that uh, for Alligator could get in with Crunch, but... It's gonna outspeed me and finish me off with another Bolt. I think I'm too chunky. I'm definitely gonna... Yep. Darn it! I took out half the team, at least. And we did learn that the Crobat has a Miracle Berry, which is the Gen 2 equivalent of a Lumberry. Which definitely just, yeah, means it heals through everything. So I guess there is no Shadow Ball on it. It has Nightshade. Alright then. And put him to sleep. I just sworn it had Shadow Ball. I guess I was thinking of something else. It's taking its sweet time finishing me off. If I could get Dana Earthquake, that would give it more to do in this battle, at least. Oh, I got the early wake up, but this is the worst battle for it. In the original Gen 2, I think you can't get leftovers until Kanto. That probably is the same here, unfortunately, so I can't bet on finding one. But if I could train up a good bulk Pokemon, it would be good to run that. Especially if I do end up with, like, access to poison strats in some way. Alright. I lost, but we got some important info from this battle. Uh, like all battles, we learned that uh, they're way too strong for me. <laughs> Playing with its prey. Oh, hey, it's Joey. He's calling me up again. This is Joey. Got a minute? My rat tat is looking sharper than before. I doubt there's a Pokemon as cool as this guy in your party. Oh, yeah, I took down an Ekans in the wild the other day. It was a cakewalk. I like guess can't be helped. All right, see you later. Damn, Joey. All right, this is probably a good stopping point. I'll definitely have to train up a little bit, and uh, between episodes again... I will see if I can go back and catch, like, a Charmander with good IVs, and that would be another good member for the team. Unfortunately, I just realized that the flying type on it would make it vulnerable to Thunderbolt. Let me see. I'm also wondering, what about Venusaur or Meganium as my own wall, if their stats are buffed enough? I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll go ahead and make a save here. Saving. Don't turn off the power. Didn't intend on it. We're gonna switch over to Yu-Gi-Oh! on stream. If you're watching on YouTube, this is where it stops for you. I hope you all enjoyed. I went closer to two and a half than uh, three hours today. Uh, hope that's okay, but you can definitely see if you're watching. There's nothing I can really do except grind the wild Pokemon, so I'd, I'd rather just uh, take care of that off stream. We kind of run our course for the day. Anyways, for YouTube, this is where it stops. For Twitch, we're gonna continue. Have a good night. Bye-bye.